If you have read more than one Haruki Murakami book, you may have noticed his passion for cats. Cats are present in many of his books and seem to be an essential part of his life. It even goes this far that cats are important characters of the story that even influence the plot lines. If you have ever asked yourself why you constantly read about cats once you open a Murakami novel, I might answer some of your questions today. So welcome to today's video and welcome back on Haruki Murakami Art. In The Wind Up Bird Chronicles, the main character Toru loves his missing cat more than any of the women he meets. Coming to Kafka on the shore, old man Nakata is able to communicate with cats. And the second character, Kafka Tamura, cannot pass a cat without petting it. The cats in this book even have names and different personalities. And these are only some examples. Cats occur in so many of his tales. But before going deeper and explore his personal feelings, you should know that cats are the most popular pets in Japan. They are even more popular than dogs, because you can easily hold them on limited space as you have in crowded cities like Tokyo. In Japanese folklore, cats have protective powers and symbolize good luck and fortune. No example of this is more clear than the story of the Maneki Neko. As the story goes, centuries ago, a feudal lord was standing under a tree when he noticed a cat waving at him with his paw. Curious, he approached the cat and at that moment, the lightning bolt hit the tree where he had been standing. Thus was born the story of the Maneki Neko that has inspired statues and likenesses worldwide. You'll often see the Maneki Neko as a figurine in storefronts and restaurants, promising blessings and good fortune to its owners and all who enter. And now we're coming to the part why, beside these legends, Haruki has a special bond to cats. He answered this question in one of his columns he has published for the New Yorker. The article mainly centers around his relationship to his dad, but contains a very special story he has witnessed with him. When living in Shukugawa, one day Haruki and his father went to the beach to get rid of a cat. Why they needed to get rid of it he can't recall today. Maybe it was a stray they'd taken in that was now pregnant and his parents felt they couldn't care of it anymore. Getting rid of cats back then was a common occurrence, not something that anyone would criticize you for. The idea of nurturing cats never crossed anyone's mind. Haruki says it was probably around 1955. His father and Haruki set off that summer afternoon to leave the cat by the shore. He pedaled his bicycle while his son sat on the back holding a box with the cat inside. They rode along the Shukugawa river, arrived at the beach at Koroen, set the box down among some trees there and without a backward glance they headed home. The beach must have been about two kilometers from their home. At home they got off the bike, discussing how they felt sorry for the cat but what could they do? And when they opened the front door the cat they just abandoned was there, greeting them with a friendly meow, its tail standing tall. It had beaten them home, and for the life of him, Haruki couldn't figure out how it had done that. They'd been on a bike after all, his father was stumped as well. The two stood there for a while at a total loss for words. Slowly his father's look of blank amazement changed to one of admiration and finally to an expression of relief, and the cat went back to being their pet. Haruki says, We always had cats at home and we liked them. I didn't have any brothers or sisters and cats and books were my best friends when I was growing up. I loved to sit on the veranda with a cat, sunning myself. So why did we have to take that cat to the beach and abandon it? Why didn't I protest? These questions, along with that of how the cat beat us home, are still unanswered. I think this magical encounter pretty much explains why cats are so important in his books. Everyone has a special childhood experience that shape your later life and this is one of them. 
Do you have a special bond to cats or other animals? Or maybe you have witnessed something in your childhood that is present until today? I'd be happy to read your comments. So hope you enjoyed today's video and see you soon on Haruki Murakami Art. Thank <music> you.